Hello, my name is Alexander Varsavian. For 12 years with some breaks I used to live in Russia where I have done my PhD and worked for some companies. During this period I was very homesick for my country. Now return to Armenia and will rediscover it for myself. Surely many of you are familiar with Armenia, but few know, even among the locals, everything about it. Even the first time being in Armenia, you begin to feel at home. But sometimes you can hear, well, besides churches and restaurants, do you have nothing else to see? The question is strange itself, since it is known that we are the first Christian nation in the world, which we adopted as the state religion in 301 AC. And probably it would be stranger if we don't have any churches at all. It is also strange that for almost 2000 years we have succeeded to preserve the Christian faith being subjected to persecutions of different powers. And for almost 2000 years we have been carrying the light of Christianity, this vast culture and value system. And it's probably strange that this question does not arise when visiting Rome, Paris, Prague, Berlin, London. Is there really no beach? I don't think that the guide would be confused with the answer. Most probably this question will not arise at all. Armenia has a beautiful opera, philharmonic, theatres, museums, concert halls. You have to come to Armenia to replenish your cultural and spiritual baggage. Moreover, by the quantity, high quality and variety of cafes and restaurants, Armenia can contend with the largest tourist centers. Gastronomic tours with endless caravans pass through Yerevan and other regions of Armenia. You could hardly find a person who doesn't know about high quality and tasty Armenian wine, beer, fruit vodka and brandy. With all this, Armenia first of all is rich of its own people. These are not only Armenians, which are of course more than 99% of the population. The cultural wealth of Armenia consists of Yazidis, Russians, Assyrians, Kurds, Ukrainians, Greeks, Georgians, Belarusians, Jews, Poles, Germans, Chinese and many others. We have modern, advanced, low-cost plastic surgery, dentistry, health resorts and sanatoriums. We can come for recovery combining with the cultural and gastronomic program. Recreation in the conditions of the purest ecology. What could be better? Armenia is rich in emotions. But of course you cannot tell watching my speech.
This country is not only a geographical object, it's a worldview. I'm not a professional journalist, not a geographer, not a geologist or a guide. I speak some Armenian, Russian and English. I'm a project manager, an economist. So please be lenient with the quality and content of the video. But you can be sure that the materials will be absolutely sincere. We will discover Armenia with the feeling of being in your own home. So I'm happy to welcome you in Armenia. In Armenian it sounds Bari Galust. Just like the domain name, pages on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube.